Once upon a time, the balance of panic and serotonin had been disrupted, but Baby Bird would not leave us without new keepers of the balance. No, she would never forsake us, if not Fortuna. So as we were building the birdhouse in her honor, which I swore would remain empty until finished, it's still not finished, we were sent her prodigies, and I was not ready to know such love again just yet. It was too much for my heart. I said, ah, go away, but it came at full speed. There was no stopping the prophecy that had been foretold. The balance must be restored, but the gods were clever this time. We had seen that one earthly form could not contain such power on its own. As such, it had been divided into two. One panic and one serotonin. Oopsie and daisy. But for the hope of restoring this balance, the gods demanded a sacrifice. One part panic and one serotonin. What were we to do? We had no choice but to lay out their eyeballs. They were devastated. We had hoped there would be another way and we pleaded with the gods, but they were persistent and our efforts were in vain. But they knew it was their destiny and the roles were meant to be played out and thus Thanks to Oopsie and Daisy, the balance was restored. And now that they had carried out the prophecy, it was time for them to write their own story. Baby Bird had sent us her fiercest warriors, and now their job was done. So they took the time to regain their strength and find their own inner panic and serotonin. But who would be the new guardian of these keepers? For clearly the chaos remained. It would take strong souls. One familiar with panic, but aware that it is in such that serotonin thrives. The battle between the two may never fully be at rest, but that is why the stories of Ootsie and Daisy and others like them matter most. But the day did come that they had found their proper guardians, and their journey was meant to start writing its own path. So long as that path led to food, they were good. So we fed them their last meal before the story would continue elsewhere and reminisced about a time when food was a bit confusing. But Bulldozer and Garbage Disposal were now prepared to take on new names and names that they had almost been gifted here at first, which only further confirmed that it was meant to be. And so I smothered Oopsie and Daisy one last time and said, this is it girls, the day that we have been preparing for. But of course we will send you off with gifts of gratitude, ones that would fit their new home's aesthetic. We all know how important that is around here. They would need chaos refreshments and sample sizes of our favorite products by superior feline who made these for our adoption bags and a card to our favorite custom food which the girls are on and we are sending them with and what else are we sending them with the offering of panic and serotonin themselves which deserve no less than a flashy bow <laughs> you got your eyeballs <laughs> bye bye girls i love you oh, yes. bye bye you got food for me? Who <laughs> got my dinner? And then Oopsie and Daisy became flotsam and jetsam. And the only panic they know is awaiting dinner time. But the panic that builds around dinner is what fuels the serotonin throughout the rest of their lives. Thank you for all the chaos, girls. It was a job well done. And that is the story of the first kittens of the birdhouse. Thank you, baby bird. We will carry on.